Unsophisticated Whiskey. Welcome back to Unsophisticated Whiskey. I'm T. Wizzle. And I'm Boogie. And today we are talking 1792 Full Proof. One of our faves. This is a single barrel uh, from Oaken Thieves. <sighs> Oaken Thieves, guys. Check them out. Patreon. I already, I already killed my bottle. T.Y. was able to acquire one for me as well. Uh, they actually have one of the coolest stickers. I've seen tater stickers on the back of a bottle. Born to fill. Yeah. Born to kill. Um, this is, um, you know, one of our favorite cheaper foolproof bottles for sure. Uh, for 50 bucks? Yeah, it's hard to beat. It's extremely hard to beat. It's hard to find as well, though. So that kind of makes it a little, yeah, you know, it's easier to find than some of the hard allocated things, but it's. So TY's had a regular 1792 foolproof. Um, that's been long gone, but I would say every single barrel we've had. It's been better. Yeah. Way better. I don't know what it is. It's Barton. It's Barton. Yeah, Barton's got some good stuff. But the regular 1792, which is obviously, it's batched. Um, right. It was a lot nuttier. And, and this this isn't the first single barrel I've had. We've tried a few. and um, At least three or four now. Yeah. I already killed a whole bottle of this, so, from Oak and Thieves. Uh, I, I love it. Oak and Thieves, check them out. It's the guys from the podcast and uh, the Please. guys from BS and Bourbon. They pick... Fantastic picks. Yeah. I mean, everything, <laughs> dude, every single one of them. It just smells so sweet. Yeah. It yeah. smells like liquid candy. It's, it's a caramel bomb, dude. Like, sweet caramel and vanilla. Like, and like, I, I feel like this is your typical, like, when you think bourbon, you, you think oak. Caramel, vanilla, and this, like, dude, blows it out of the water with the... It's good. It smells good. I'd like to know the age on these foolproofs, like the average. I would say they're blending, like, six to eight year, if I had to guess. We have a single barrel, so I don't care about oh, blending. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, I would I'd I mean, say it's got to be... Do you think it could be between six and eight years old? I would think, bro. I mean, because they have the 12 year, and then they... Barton sources a lot of their stuff, so yeah. it's like... I mean, they do. They are the one brand that has a lot of aged stock, it seems. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's eight or nine years. Who knows? But it smells fantastic. And they always drink great. Yeah. 125 proof. But you could bury your nose in there. Yeah, and love every minute of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that lovely Barton caramel note that I get. I get the same note on those lucky 7, 14, and 15 years. Such a good pour. I've still yet to acquire one. I need to do that. Yeah. Salud, bro. I feel like every single time I've had a single barrel, the vanilla has always been a, like, the forward leader, and it's just super sweet. It just hits forward. different. Yeah, I wouldn't say it doesn't. I wouldn't say it tastes super aged. And like I said, I wish I knew, but even if it's not, it, it's just it hits all the right boxes. Ty said in previous videos, like, I want the deep dark notes and this is what it's del it's delivering it right then and there like i don't know it's man the palette's so good it is yeah 1792 barton in general but you know these foolproof picks are just it, it's a buy every time for 50 bucks if it's if it's bucks. msrp it's a buy every time i mean if I seen one for 60, 65 bucks, I would still buy it. Yeah, I, I think 75 is where I'd start to get a little questionable yeah. about it, you oh. know. I wouldn't I still wouldn't want to pass it up, but just based on cuz you've seen them for 50 bucks, you're going to pass it up yeah, for 75. Yeah, it hurts at 75. 
and the couple we've had, like we've said, is they've all they're all great. They're all yeah. I haven't had a bad one, and when I have a bad one, I'm gonna be like, okay, whoever picked this had no clue what they were doing. <laughs> but maybe they just had bad choices that day. Yeah, but I don't feel like whoever picks the barrels selected for the single barrel program, whoever that is, you're doing a great job because yeah. Every single one of them is good. I feel like if you got a flight of these and you were able to select between three, four, five of these, I think it would be extremely hard, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, hopefully one day we'll get to do that, but it'd be very hard. Yeah. Yeah, the more subscribers we get, the closer we can get to doing to that stuff goal. like that. That's our main goal right now, I think, <laughs> is to do a barrel pick. It's not about the money. Like, yeah, that would be nice, but we want to do barrel picks and yeah, go out. I and just do... want to go out and do one at a distillery, not here. Right. Not yeah. trying a little sample. We want to go to the distillery and do picks. Maybe mm -hmm. bring a buddy or two and go yeah, through a, it. A little cinnamon on the nose now, but just caramel. It's caramel vanilla. vanilla awesomeness bro and it's not super oaky but there is a nice it's sweet oak yeah it's sweet oak i feel like all these have been sweet yeah it's sweet oak instead of the spicy oak yeah it's delicious all right so we've gushed over this bottle and i, I will continue to gush over it go ahead all right i'm gonna be a little picky because i think that the the nose is not where it's at with this, I'm gonna give the nose a five. I'm gonna give it a six. Okay. And it's fair, cause I'm like right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give the palette a seven. Yeah, me too, bro. Yep. Definitely. It's, per it's, 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 it's where it belongs. It, it does. Seven is good. Above average. It's well above average, bro. Yeah. Especially for the mm -hmm. money. Yeah. I don't think there's many fifty dollar bottles. You can talk rare breed. I mean, there's other fifty dollar yeah, bottles, mean, but, but this I'm is taking this. shitting all over. I'm, rare yeah, breed, I'm bro. taking this over rare uh, breed for sure. <laughs> there's not many fifty dollar bottles that could compete with no what mm -mm. seventeen ninety two is doing. You might be able to get a four year old MGP for that much money. I mean, it, <laughs> it ain't gonna even going to be close to that. Gonna... I guarantee it. Okay, Man. so finish. What do we got? I'm gonna give the finish a six. Uh, I feel like the palette is where it's at with this. So I'm five, seven, six. What are you gonna give it? It could be a seven. It really could be because it, at that proof, at 125 proof, it's it's lingering, but it it it's not complex. Like when I'm thinking of a finish, I'm thinking of something that is maybe changing flavors from the back to the front or from the front to the back. Um, I am gonna give it a seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting like a nice cherry note out of it now too, and the spice is staying around, the sweetness is staying around. And Twerk. yes, that's twenty for me. This is a single barrel. But yeah, I, it's you know, yours might not be this good. Yours might be better. Right. That's the gamble you take with single barrels, and but I'll gamble it every time. Like we said, every single single barrel we've had of this has been awesome. Uh, what am I at? I'm at a five, a six, or a five, a seven, and a six. So I'm at 13 plus six is 19. 19. And I'm at 20. So that puts us at 39. 39 out of 60. And I would say it could be a 40. Definitely. Could be. Yeah, no. I it's mean, it's right it, there. It, yeah, it is. It's right there. It's a good bottle. Yeah, it's a really good bottle. It's, um, it, it, it's, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't drink like super special, but for its price, it is special. Right. That's that's where you... The value. You're mm -hmm. getting extreme value with any of these single barrels you could get. And I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people that might not agree, but I'm a sucker for <sighs> Martin lately, man. It's, it's... Man. It has kind of taken the... You know, after that Lucky 7 and the Calumets and like it, it's just We recently found good. out that all the Joseph Magnus are... Yeah, a lot of the Joseph Magnus Barton. cigar blend is older aged Barton and... It's like, wow. They're thanks for that. It. Thanks for that tidbit, Nancy. Yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> you um, see one of these guys, buy it. Yes. If you've never had one, 75 if you see it, buy it. it even the bottled and bond at 40 bucks, buy it. Yeah, those are great I like those too. Uh, yeah, yeah, those are crushable bottles. Mm -hmm. um, but
But we're on Sophisticated Whiskey, guys. We appreciate you tuning in. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Check us out. Thank you. See ya. Making booze reviews doesn't need to be complicated With a snooty attitude that'll leave the viewer frustrated So join to I and Boogie as the whiskey gets evaluated And I promise that they'll always be unsophisticated Unsophisticated whiskey